Hello small folk, today I'm going to teach you how to get the damselfly in small lands and in my opinion it's probably the best mount that's currently in the game and it is also a flying mount. Now if you guys do enjoy this video please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and let's go ahead and get into this. So in order to tame one of these you actually need this item right here which is the damselfly treat. An irresistible treat for damselflies served on a alluring petal. Now moving into some spoiler territory, you are going to have to open up the walnut chest that you found at the beginning of the game inside the cave where the elder was. You're going to have to open that up and that's where you're going to get the recipe for the damselfly. To open up that chest, you are going to have to go down here to the bottom right of the map where the king stag beetle is and you're going to have to defeat him. Once you defeat him, he's going to drop this item right here and that is the key to opening this chest. Now the damselfly treat can be crafted over here in the stone oven. It's going to be down here at the bottom. It's going to require a three firefly juice, one petal, and two seed oil. The only issue is actually unlocking the stone oven because it is going to require some end game resources. To unlock the stone oven, you're going to need some wood, stone brick, and clay mortar. To get clay mortar, you're going to have to go over to your windmill, access it, and you're going to see that you can unlock it with some bugs lymph and some clay. To obtain clay, you're going to need to go to the bottom right of the map, right past the king stag beetle, all along this little border here. Is There's clay all over the place, and you are going to have to have like an iron pickaxe or a spike pickaxe to actually be able to harvest those. That is going to unlock a whole slew of new items, such as the stone items, stone foundations, all that good stuff. But most importantly, we're going to get the clay. Once you have all those items, it's time to find a damselfly. Now, luckily for me, it's right by my base over here by the elder. Down here in the water where the lily pads are, that's the location we're going to go. If you don't see any right away, just look up. There's usually one hovering above. Sometimes it's a good idea to get a ranged weapon. But me, I'm just going to use my scythe and try and pick away at them. Make sure you have the item, the damselfly tree, in your inventory whenever you do this. That way you can click on them and uh, tame them. So let's kind of bait him over to the coastline. Uh, if you're on peaceful, he's obviously not going to attack you. All right, so I, I irritated him enough. He's coming after me now. I should be able to go up there and just tame him by one more hit. So I got him super low. It was two hits with the iron scythe. Now I'm just going to go up there. And I'm going to tame him, and now I can just hop on him. Now, once you have the damselfly, you can see that he can actually hover quite a bit, and he can fly up based on the stamina system. So as your stamina hits a zero, you're going to start descending down slowly, but you're never going to, like, hit the ground fully. You're still going to be flying and hovering along the ground. When you get your stamina back, you can raise up again. So it's kind of like having a, uh, a mini helicopter. And like I said, it's got to be one of the best, if not the best mount in the game currently, just because being able to traverse the world this way is so much better, especially if you're being attacked by mobs, you can literally just fly up on a cliff. Now, if you're going off of a cliff, you actually don't burn stamina as you're heading down, which is great. So if you're up really high, you can kind of just keep doing this. As long as you're already high above, you can just keep using your stamina to keep flying up higher and higher. Of course, like the other mounts in the game, the damselfly is a low health, so make sure you don't get attacked by many mobs. But it is definitely a very cool looking mount, and I can't wait to see what else they're going to bring. And that's it for this video, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, you know what to do. Hit that like button, and I'll see you guys in the next one.